That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> of course, saving lives is the correct way, is the correct answer and the correct thing to do. But a lot of people don't realize, like, if we, unfortunately, we live in a capitalist world, right? So livelihood and life is based on the economy, if you get it. So what that means is, for example, it means like um, you being able to, for example, you being able to go and get food is based on the economy, right? And everyone else can be able to get food, buy food or whatever is based on how the economy is run or or like um, that kind of stuff. So right now, what we're looking at right now, especially right now, is a really good time. So it's a really good point you made. Because right now, um, the UN has been underfunded because com countries can't afford to pay the UN money. And right now, Yemen is Yemen is experiencing like one of the worst... Um, farming and um and like people are like over like i'm glad you mentioned like, that like millions of people are dying but people are saying like obviously people and then what's happening now is people can't help yemen because no one has has the money to donate money do you get it well so now, um, yeah people can donate people still can donate um you can donate money but if you got 100 pounds for you and your family who are you gonna give 100 pounds to your family or, or people in yemen uh, this also leads to loads of other conversations about i mean yeah there's loads of people in power this also leads to the topic about there's billionaires statistically been shown to have gone richer during this times and whatnot of course like but the thing is though but do you know what that that's a, that's a, good, that's a question you said though because like of course like there are billionaires that have, that have got rich and they are the ones that have also got really poor that have got bankrupt right if you focus on the ones that have got rich then yeah of course the they're, they're ones that have got hella rich from this situation because unfortunately they're there for example the guy that for example if you there's a guy from i think it's from Germany that owns super suplex glasses or Sweden that owns like the like know that the glasses people use in, in, in buses and stuff like that yeah this company was about to go broke to go bankrupt right before like um for COVID right now he's this the company has got like a additional 3.2 billion mad do you, do you got what I mean it's so, a stroke of luck man yeah it's like, like he, he was about five he was about five bankruptcy like at least like a few months like a few months leading to COVID because there wasn't a need for it but now there's a mad demand for need. He's literally has stopped taking orders until October. Like he's about to fire people, that kind of stuff. So and what I'm saying like, is that there are people in, in like who can help. Obviously, like that's yeah, a whole totally different conversation. But, but obviously, the thing right? is, they are helping though. It's not like they're not like social media gurus that come on social media and say, "Look at me, look what I'm doing." Because most people that have money to actually make a difference and do something, they don't. They don't talk about making difference. Exactly. Yeah, now me and me and Jason said this in previous episodes. Uh, if the people yeah, listening um, want to go yeah. back, I'm sure they already know that though, obviously, because they listen. Yeah, yeah that's that um, funny of it. I'll, I'll give you an example. It's like um, Warren Buffett, for example. He donated most of his cash money he has to the Bill and Gates Foundation, which has been doing a lot, which is literally like no, like they don't talk about what the foundation does, but if you research into it, They've helped. Yeah, there's a, there's a there's, well, they don't talk about it, but there's a whole Netflix like documentary series about it, about what they do. Yeah, and stuff, so. yeah, exactly. like, no, nah, but like, they don't, but like you don't see. Yeah, they, they, yeah I get, I get, I get what you mean. Yeah. They're not out there flexing that they got more charity and fund base, is what you saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like they don't, like, they don't do the kind of stuff. Like, they, they don't do the stuff we see. If that, if that I mean, if you get what I'm saying, like they don't just lend a hundred quid to a homeless guy on the street. That's me. Yes, exactly. They don't do that, and they don't <laughs> do what we do for social media because they're more of a different generation. You know what I mean, so like they usually go out there and first hand and they help them out. Or but they are people that help. They help them out as much as they can. And also, to your thing as well. For example, like um, what's his name? Jeff Bezos, right? Everyone's been very negative about him being worth going to be like the first trillionaire, or whatever. Can whatever. whatever. But it doesn't mean he's got trillion trillion dollars in, in, in like um his bank account. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what everyone thinks, isn't it? When it comes to that worth. If like he's worth hundred billion dollars, he's got hundred billion dollars, you're chilling there. No, he doesn't. Like he might have something like so what they, what do people usually do, right? They've got like a good credit score, right? To bank. The banks know how much money they're worth, so banks give them as much money as they need. So for example, they will go to a bank and say, Well, I wanna buy a house for hundred million dollars. And then my dividends, for example, is like ten million dollars a year. So I could pay you this much money, this much money, whatever. Right? So bank says, okay, cool, that's fine. So bank will give them that much money for them to buy the house they need, buy buy the private jet they need, all that kind of stuff. Because then the bank knows they're good for the money. So that's how. I wonder what my credit score could get me. If <laughs> <laughs> so that's. I'll, I'll turn up. <laughs> the private jet. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I want to buy a private jet. My my credit is is is, is pretty good. Can you let me edit? <laughs> but that's what I mean. That's that's the people. That's the people. 
actually functions. A lot of people don't realise that's what they... Like, everyone thinks a billionaire has a billion pounds. Do you know what I mean? They don't. Like, some of them literally have, like, four million pounds in cash and the guy will donate two million pounds. People say, but he's a billionaire, though. But he hasn't got a billion pounds. Do you know what I mean? He's yeah, worth, that's like yeah. me, actually. I'm worth... I'm worth... Um, I'm a millionaire, but I've only got, like... Um, Forty pounds in my account. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you can have. You have it, but like that's what you can have, isn't it? It's like um, it's one of those things. Yeah, but people, but people don't really look at stuff like they look at. He's worth a billion. Means he's got a billion pounds. For example, if because tomorrow morning, what could happen is his stock prices could could be down a, a half a billion, and he's now worth five hundred million pounds. You don't say he's got five hundred a billion anymore. He's got five hundred million now, but he's not worth. He's worth five hundred million, but he hasn't got five hundred million. That makes sense. So, so that's what that's a lot of issue is that it's like they can do as much as they can with the cash they have. Cause remember, they gotta pay the bank their money back. <laughs> yeah, the bank wants their money back, or the credit cards they get stuff like that. The bank wants wants their money back as well, because bank is thinking, well, if you're doing five million pounds of charity and you owe us twenty million, how are you gonna? And then your dividends is this much money. How are you gonna pay us back? And then they can't pay it back. Then they they go bankrupt. Do you know what I mean? And then. Because, like, you can be worth a billion pounds and still get bankrupt if you can't pay your your um, your money. So it means, like, they either have to sell their shares or that kind of stuff, and then that's that makes them lose even more money. No so, matter how that, much he's worth, I doubt he has to worry about his cloud declining in the shops, though. Of so course not. No, right. Of course not. Because they, He'll be aight. He's aight. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's all right. He's all right. He's, he's lucky. But obviously, like, he hasn't got, like, a like a one billion pounds in his bank account just chilling there to give out to, to, give out to charity. I mean, of course they can. That's what I mean, like, when I say... For example, Warren Buffett was able to do that because if you look back on what he done, I was like, so he gets dividends and he he's, he's he makes his money from compound interest and dividends. So he had that much cash with him and he gave it away. Do you know what I mean? So he had so he had that much cash and then he also sold sold some of his um like uh, stocks from other companies to make all that cash up to give away. I think he gave something like thirty seven billion. To the to the foundation, whatever, to basically like seven billion. Yeah, that's mad. But then even that, like they like even that is not even enough to like because I'm sure I like, watched the documentary that they explain like um you can put so much money into something, but you aren't really it's not really getting rid of the problem because people a lot of people a lot of us think you put money into something the problem is gone because everyone here because we've all been taught money solves our problems right so. Like if a lot of people think like if you might if, if you put money into something, it basically that's basically you basically that everything's basically fine. But that's not how things go. Well, because how long do you put money into? So if a comedian needs ten billion dollars to 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 survive a year, you give him ten billion dollars. What what happens next year? Do you know what I mean? There's there's people I'm thinking like what wow, what's long term? Because that's what people try. So what you can do is teach people how to pre sufficient and work of governments, but governments in places like Africa, a lot of corrupt places, the governments are so corrupt, the government are basically still the money. Like I'm from Zimbabwe, I know my personally, I know myself, yeah. Zimbabwean governments steal money, aid money, right? They get over a hundred million from from the from the from US in aid, over fifty something million from the UK in aid money. About ten million about ten million of their money actually goes to helping the people. Most of it goes to MPs and other people to steal the money. The beast is stealing that. Like, like, for example, like I said before. It's disgusting. Like, yeah, it's disgusting. Like, for example, like Mugabe was a billionaire. From what? He's a president. Why, why is he a billionaire? He's stealing money from the from people. Like him and his friends are all, they're all thieves. They stole money from, from, from aid money, money from taxpayers. Like they stole the money and they just they just used it for themselves. They didn't put it back into economy. So if you're going to like, if, you, if you're saying this, you got people, billionaires, why should you do more to help people? Well, they can do more to help people, but you need to you need to make sure that the infrastructures which they give like um they're giving money into are actually helping people. Do you know what I mean? It's like it's like Oxfam. Oxfam like Oxfam pays they are head of Oxfam like, over two hundred thousand pounds. What for what reason is is a man who's working with charity getting over two hundred over six figures? Why? <laughs> Why are you working in charity and getting over six figures? For what reason? That's that literally opens this opens up a whole different like conversation when it comes to charities and all these like some of these like non-profit organizations but then the ceos and the directors of these places are like 
hella rich and it's it's just it doesn't make sense it's crazy people. so that opens up a whole can of worms i think we'll leave that for episode yeah that's, yeah that's gonna talk about that yeah. <laughs>